Hello folks, how are you doing? Quick video here. I um, want to talk about uh, Fnatic um, of the cross movement uh, that, um, you know, turn away from the faith. I'm actually out here at an, uh, an abortion clinic uh, with a poster, with a, you know, a banner. The banner doing, you know, just um, standing up with a banner. And I just figured I'd make a video. I brought my camera with me, but the camera, the battery is dead. I don't know how I made that mistake. So I got to run the cell, the, uh, the cell phone camera. So I want to talk about Fnatic. You know, I remember the cross movement, you know, from, from years ago. I remember the cross movement. Um, you know, I didn't really follow them up, you know, like follow them like a fan. But um, I remember when they first came out. And, you know, it was, it was amazing, you know. A group of guys, you know, doing um, you know, basically hardcore rap, but you know, repping Jesus Christ, you know, it was it was cool. Love them, you know, back in the days, you know. But like I said, I mean, at the time when I was um, young adult, you know, so I mean, I was coming into like you know, just responsibility. I wasn't that really a teenager, like a kid, kid. So you know, I just kind of just left them off, and I'd hear stuff about them every now and then. But, you know, they kept, um, you know, kept it up, you know, they made, um, they also made um, solo albums. And um, I didn't know, even know their names, you know, I mean, I remember, I hear, you know, you hear them talk about Tonic, you know, Ambassador. The ambassador for sure, I remember his name. Um, uh, but I, I remember hearing one guy in the group, his, his style and voice was so unique, you know. Um, and that was the fanatic. No, I didn't know his name was a fanatic. I didn't know his name, but I remember just his style. You know, whenever I start rapping, and I mean, you know, you could just tell that, you know, this was a different person. Different, you know, his style is so unique. You know, and his, his um, we call it you now his ciphers were incredible. When he starts to rap, you know, you know, you just it's a, it's a different vibe altogether. The ambassador also, I mean, you know, I I I knew his name. Didn't really know his face, but I mean, he has a unique rapping style too. He, you know, he's just um, when when he raps, you know, you pay attention, right? I'm not saying that the other guys are not unique. The tonic has a very unique tone, right? But you know, listen, I mean, as rappers, some of you know, there's there are different styles, and some people stand out. The fanatic stood out probably the most, right, in the group, his style, and the ambassador second. I believe that's my personal opinion. So. You know, when I heard that, um, you know, the fanatic of the cross movement, you know, turned away from the faith, I didn't really know who, he, you know, who he was, you know. I, you know, I, and even before, um, you know, I, I saw that video, saw the, heard the news and I, I, I was seeing, you know, the cross movement talk about, you know, the current state of um, modern hip hop, modern Christian hip hop, you know. So, and I wouldn't like, you know, listen sometimes, you know, but not too deeply. But um, the fanatic, when I realized who it was, I mean, I was very surprised because he was like really, like his name says, the fanatic, zealous for Christ, you know? I was very surprised that, you know, he turned from the faith. Um, and, you know, I can say, you know, that, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's not, this might be shocking to you, but it's not hard to turn away from the faith. It really isn't hard. It might be surprising to you, but it's not hard to, to, to you know, to, to, especially if you're a Christian for a long time, you know, fatigue can set in, you know, if you're not careful. It's like doing anything for a long time. If, if you're not careful, you get tired of it. And, you know, I don't mean to speak about, you know, Jesus Christ in, that, in those terms. I mean, that might sound crazy or blasphemous to some people. Right, but if you're not careful, you're gonna start doing and saying things that just becomes, you know, like you know, oh, oh man, you know, routine. Like, we get tired of it, you know, the same things over and over again. Okay, gotta be very, very careful, you know, in in our Christian walk to to stay in touch, you know, with Jesus Christ, to actually have a serious relationship with Jesus Christ. Because everything else, you know, will wear you down and wear you out. People wear you down and wear you out. You know, ministering to people will wear you, down, wear, wear you down and wear you out. Preaching, you know, doing this right here. Evangelizing can wear you out. These physical things that happen that we do, that we do in life. You know, these, these, um, these uh, things that we go through, just living daily lives. You know, just, just living, just surviving. Just walking through a Christian walk, you know, going to church, you know, I mean, um, like I said, ministering to people, making appearances, you know, 
evangelizing if you're not like you know spending time with jesus and when i say spend time with jesus i mean like okay i mean like okay um you know um praying praying is very important and you know i must admit i don't really pray that much you know really get down and like bow down you know bow down your head to the ground and prostrate yourself the bible says and pray i don't really do that a lot i do pray but i you know i don't really do a lot what i can say i do do um you know steadily but not deeply but steadily i read the bible i make it a point to read the bible every year okay that that's probably saved me a lot of trouble <laughs> you know i do make it a point i mean i don't i don't go days without reading the bible and I might during the year, the course of the year, reading the Bible, like I read, I read, um, you know, uh, five chapters per day. So if I miss a day, even a week or so, if that happens, I'll still finish in one year. So that, that, you know, that really does help. So praying, reading your Bible, okay, and actually, you know, going out and actually, um, you know, um, exercising your faith. It's like a muscle, you know, exercise your faith. That is after you pray and you read, okay, you exercise your faith, okay? And, you know, I believe that, you know, even if you do all that right, you know, you can get fatigued, you can get depressed, you can get lonely, you can get sad, you know, you can get, you know, um, um, uh, what's the word, um, discouraged. But what God will do is when you do these things, and this is what happens to me because, and I know, I know, I listen to Fanatic, I know, I know how he feels, and I know... What he's saying you know there's some answers that he just he just never got but that's where faith comes in as other um you know, other um people who have responded to his videos have said faith ultimately in the end the bible says little faith is impossible to please god there are going to be times in this life when you just have to simply have faith you just have to have faith that when you step in the elevator that it will take you to your floor that it won't you know um collapse and fall out the sky out of the building with you in the shaft you just have to have faith that when you um you know you you go to the gas station to pump gas and that there is actually gasoline being pumped into your engine and not water or it's not you, know, you go to buy gasoline it's not diesel you have to have faith you know overall and if you're gonna you know um serve um serve god because he is god and he does not he does not you know work for us you know it's like uh, when you have a boss at work you know you you know your boss has to do something to you it might not make sense but you know after all he's your boss right so you just do it and <laughs> you know you tell yourself you know what it's his company and you know if everything if it fails if it doesn't work you know it's not your fault because you know your boss told you to do it right and that's the approach you got to take with god you know you have to really leave some things to god you know and you have to have faith right so i think you know in, in my life i've seen where you know at times i doubt and i get discouraged and you get discouraged easily when you don't get encouragement from other christians or anybody i mean if, if you don't you know anything you're doing if you're not encouraged and you know and um, and you know and uh, validated at times you know you know you get discouraged you know if if you know if it's the same thing every day the same motion every day you know the same words every day you know you you know you you will you, you, you know it's like you need a new shot a new boost every day you know when it when it comes to i mean to 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 walking with christ you know so just when you don't get that you know you can't get discouraged but that's when like, like i said you have to have faith you have to trust that you know jesus christ is real you have to trust that um you have to trust that you know that you know you you know have faith that you're doing the right thing you're serving you know, you're serving god and you know and you'll be all right you know what i mean so you know when the doubts come you know when you don't have the answers that you need when you when you feel like okay um it's not adding up it's not making sense you have to you have to you know believe that you know in the end you know it will make sense that in the end um you know that time um, you know god will add everything up for you do the math for you and you know and and uh produce the results okay i'd like to say to uh, also people out there who are doubting you know that um you know let's say you turn from the faith i mean what are you, what are you turning what are you going to you know what are you going to what 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 assurance is there that you know dropping your faith you know not believing in god no more i mean because you know we all know god exists fanatic knows god exists you might say he's not a christian no more but you know we all know everybody knows that this world does not make sense without um, a supreme um a supreme um you know designer okay the the order the, the you know the functions of our bodies the systems in our bodies just life itself i mean there is 
there is order it's not you know no evolution you know evolution is nonsense millions of years blah 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 okay it's not that, that doesn't make any sense so you you leave your faith what are you going to what what else is there you know god forbid man you know i'm saying you know trust god if you know if if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're doubting just just you know the bible said let's look at creation look at life there is you know the, the god is real and it just doesn't make sense it makes no sense at, at, the, at the end of it it doesn't make any sense to to leave god you know for nothing and you know man's life is so short our life is so short you know 50 people died 50 people died 40 people died 20 people died people newborns die you know i'm at an abortion clinic right now where, they, where they're killing babies unborn babies okay you know we are, is, is it really is life really worth you know just, just getting up every day doing your thing and just dying after 70 80 90 years even 100 years even 110 years just dying what's the point what's the point you know don't turn your backs on god you know don't uh you can doubt but you know believe you know believe and you know have faith god is god you're not in charge he's in charge you, you're not you're not gonna know you're not gonna nobody tell no no leader gives you all the um the answers because you know he has to lead they have to lead so if they're leading you have to have faith and submit yourselves to them and obey so we need to submit yourself to christ have faith in christ believe in his word believing him right that's what you know ultimately in the end right it comes down to to faith certainly do you have you know in, in your life do you have all the answers in everything that you do do you have all the answers right you don't have all the answers but you just get up and you keep going right do you know everything right you don't but you just get up and you keep going so that's what Christ demands of us, that, you know, we just get up and just keep going, believe in Him, trust in Him. Like, yes, He made the world, He made us. And if He can do that, you know, He will sustain us and He will give us what we need. So, I'm really uh, sad to see that another, um, another person has uh, left the faith. Even if, if, if he wasn't famous, it's sad when somebody uh, leaves the faith. Because, the, you know, the end thereof is, is nothing. It's just uh, death and the hell. And, in, you know, eternally separated from God, the God that you reject. Because if you don't want nothing to do with God, you know, then He will give you what you wish. He will, he will leave you alone. However, He will plead. He will, He will, you know, God, mighty, almighty God, you know, will actually come and die on a cross for you. Humble Himself, you know, uh, from, you know, come from heaven, come down, make Himself of no estate, you know, low estate, just to save us. So take advantage of that, you know, believe that God does love us. Believe, life is hard. God did not make life this way, to be this hard, you know. It is sin that has caused this. And, you know, you must admit that you yourself, you know, are sinful that you yourself um, you know have hurt people right so you know let us you know let, let us not you know pretend like we are above god you know like you know we we um you know no better than god because we're nothing we're just dust when we die we decay okay we become nothing okay so trust trust in the lord with all that and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths jesus christ is lord amen